eh, Michael from Japan. Esa, esa es la primera conversación. Sí la tengo bien. Hasta ya, eh, ya en la segunda tengo problemas. Hello, good evening everybody. Hello, hello. Teacher. Oh my dear. Oh my God, I need your help. <laughs> yes, tell me. I have okay. problem with the conversation. Which conversation? Uh, with the, uh, the the platform. Okay, tell me. Yes, uh, I have problem in, in the second part, uh, the second conversation. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the same, uh, uh, is Laura from the U.S.? Yo puse, uh, is, que es correcto, mm -hmm. is Laura. Mm -hmm. En la segunda parte, puse, no, she is. No, sería, uh -huh. pero no me, no me acepta. Entonces sería, she isn't, hagámoslo she is... contractada. But uh -huh. be careful with the apostrophe, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Because remember that the platform is very uh -huh. specific. Yeah, yeah. she. Okay. But, si gusta, lo vemos en, en plataforma, ¿sí? Ok, Solo ok. Déjenme, déjenme compartir un momentito, justo eso, digamos. Ok. Okay, uh, which number? Uh, remember that today we are going to start with the 3.5. Vamos a regresar al 3.5, uh, que es el lesson objective for today. But I need to go to the part that you say that you have the problem. So let me... Okay, which number is, is that? ¿Qué número sería? Sería el... El, la... el de, the number of the exercise. De la, de la dos. Ok, two, uh -huh. two point, uh -huh. sería dos, ¿cuál? ¿Cuál de todas? Two point, what? Sería el, 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 ya la, el, el chequeo de, de la, de punto, el, la, sería, ¿Qué de, de, la que nos, de la que nos preguntó usted ayer, de, la, de las tres conversaciones, que había que seguir la secuencia de la conversación. Eh, let's see, el knowledge check, ¿será este el ah, Sí, sí, el, el O el two point twelve. Sí, ajá, no. es el doble check, ajá. pero no sé si es este, el 2.10 o el 2.12, que sería lo que abordamos ayer. Déjeme ver. Uh -huh. eh, this is about prepositions. Esto es acerca de las preposiciones, ¿sí? sí. No, 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 es, okay. es de, 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 sería de... ¿Será este? No, no, no sería de donde están las conversaciones de... De Shiro. Eh, let me see. Uh -huh. Entonces no es ahí. Let me check. Uh -huh. No, it's not 2.12, it's not 2.10, maybe 2.8. Let me check. Es el knowledge. Knowledge check. Uh -huh. Let's, no. let's see what happened there. Vamos a ver si se abre y si es esto. I don't remember. The no. location of different objects and then prepositions. No, aquí digamos a prepositions. No. Vez. Eh, más adelante, son de las, de las más adelante. Ok, no, pero entonces es un poquito más atrás. En realidad es un poquito más atrás. Hagamos algo. Eh, sí. Si le parece... Vamos a hacer el último intento de ver cuál es. Y si no, eh, usted me manda la imagen, ¿verdad? Y yo con mucho gusto le ayudo a ver cuál es. Ya vimos que no es, no es el 2.8. Sí. Maybe sí. 2.7. Vamos a ver. Yes, no questions with where. Ajá, uh sí. -huh. So, uh, de where are you from? Uh, de from uh, UK. ¿Será este? Uh, no, no, eso ya lo trabajé. Entonces sí, le voy a agradecer si me regala la imagen al terminar la clase y yo con oh, okay, mucho gusto okay. le, le, le apoyo para ver cuál es. Okay. Porque no logro ubicar cuál de todos los knowledge check es, pero con mucho gusto. ¿Okay? Eh, yo creo que ya, ya es parte de la 3. Ajá, es muy probable, sí, es fíjense, porque ya fui bien hacia sí, atrás eh, y no... Ajá. ¿Será este? ¿Are you from Seúl? El knowledge. 3.4. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Knowledge. Knowledge. Vamos a ver en lo que las demás personas se conectan. Welcome. Ok, let me see. Ok, ahí tenemos Hiroshi. ¿Esa era uh -huh. esa? Ajá, sí, okay. sí, esa es. 
Is this one in which you have problem? Number one or number two? Eh, la segunda conversación. The second conversation, okay. The second conversation. Okay, in the okay. second conversation, eh, we are talking about mm -hmm. Laura. So, Ajá, uh, first, is, right? Is Laura así. from the U.S.? Si ahí la tengo no, buena, pero... aquí hay to, dos opciones. She's or Ajá. she is. ¿Cuál será el problema que... Ah, le... en, la, eh, en la segunda, sí, porque yo he puesto she's, she's eh, pero me, me la rechaza el sistema. Mm. Yo he puesto she's. Revisemos, revisemos Ajá. si no hay espacio de más. Revisemos si está contractando. Ajá. Eh, si está contractando, tiene que ser el apóstrofe correcto, porque si... Ajá, no ah, ya. Tilde, se sí. lo, le va a dar error. Because the sí. platform... Ah, porque sensitive. yo entiendo que she's, eh, she's not. Eh, sería... Is la, she? la pregunta es, ¿is Ajá. she from London? Tiene que ser un is ahí. Mm. Aquí. Is she eh, from is London? She from London? Hello, good evening. No, she is not. Lo que pasa es que si usted está poniendo good evening, hi. Si usted está poniendo también otra vez el not, le va a dar error porque aquí ya tenemos el not. Ah, sí, sí, el not ya no lo pongo, pero Ajá. she is. Ajá. You remember, you remember the last class I say that the problem, uh, the, the problem is only you write contract. Contraction. Ah, Correct. You, it only accept the contracted form. Yes, it is, it is construction ah, form. Ah, okay. So let me. See, normally, no, 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 it's correct. Okay, okay. So Sorry. let me. I said, it, I said it. Okay, thank you. I couldn't get where was the problem. So I'm going to take a picture right now. And I am going to report. Okay, so let me. Just wait for me. Because I need to check the number of the knowledge check, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so teacher. I'm going to report it. Thank you very much for saying because this is maybe a mistake of the system. So it's a system error, we can say. So just let me take a picture in order to locate our uh, programmer uh, for in order that they can solve this problem as soon as possible. Okay, 4.0. So just let me check the quality of my picture. Because my cell phone sometimes doesn't, it doesn't want to work. <laughs> okay. Mm, okay. <laughs> so just wait for me. A veces se me desenfoca esta cosa. Y como para poderme ver que mi rostro se vea clarito, tengo bastante luz, entonces me rebota. El, la misma yeah. luz me rebota y yeah. se me ven las imágenes un poco feas. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Ok, perdón que me estoy tomando más tiempo, pero eh, necesito reportar el error eh, para que no les, para que no les dé más problemas. Ok. Conversation 2. Conversation 2. Ahí está. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. So, eh, in that case, what you have to do is to use she's, like this one, right? Uh, she's. Yes, because... Uh, uh, the other uh, classmate was saying that uh, he solved yes. the problem only by using the um, contracted form, okay? So by now, in order to solve the problem, please use she's. But I'm going to report the failure because it's a, maybe it's a system failure. I'm going to report it. That's why I'm taking pictures of the specific section, okay? Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, let's, let's continue. And let me, let me go to the next part of the platform. So let me advance until 3.5. So I'm going to say next. And in the next, uh, we have um, that by the end of this class, you will become familiar with syllable stress, okay? So for today, we are going to cover the syllable stress. And then we are going to Cover in that uh, you have this video, right? And that it's name, number, and ages. So you can go to the platform and you can practice the right pronunciation of the numbers in order to say ages, right? So that's the idea. Um, 
We are going to cover this topic tonight. And then we are going to cover also the topic that um, for, um, of forming numbers from 11 to 103, okay? So that's what we are gonna do. And then uh, you have yes. a video, the 3.8, which is number and ages. So again, I invite you to go to the platform and watch it and pronounce the words uh, several times until you get the right pronunciation. And finally, we will um, learn how to form WH questions yeah. with B. We are, going to we are going to try to cover this um, content today, but if not, we are going to continue tomorrow. Remember that tomorrow we are going to have a, a fast review of the midterm exam, because the idea is that you can have um, clarity, that you can have um, all the information regarding to the aspects that we evaluate in the platform. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing this and let me go to the presentation that I have prepared for you tonight, okay? So we are going to start with um, the uh, words stress in English, right? So word stress is similar to tilde uh, o acento, but in español, that it means that you give an, an extra effort, you um, pronounce extra long, extra clear, and a pitch change in that specific uh, syllable. Okay, so the rules, uh, I'm going to mute all of you in order that we can listen each other properly. So whenever you need to unmute yourself, please, you will be able to do it. Okay, the rules in English, the rule number one says that the stress syllable, in English we don't have tilde, right? In English no existe la tilde como tal, como un, eh, lo voy a decir en español para que quede un poquito más claro, no existe como un carácter, ¿verdad? Eh, que se imprime, que se escribe, it doesn't exist, but exists the word stress. Sin embargo, la fuerza de voz sí ocurre, ¿verdad? Y that's occur even though they don't have a tilde. So we need to manage these rules in order to uh, pronounce correctly because sometimes um, mispronunciation of the stress in English can cause confusion in some words. Uh, so the rule number one says that the stress syllable of a focused word is extra long, extra clear, and, hatch, and has a pitch change in español. La sílaba que va con mayor fuerza de voz, en una palabra específica, se pronuncia más largo, ¿verdad? De manera más clara y tiene como un cambio, ¿verdad? En el ritmo en, o en la elevación de la voz. Por ejemplo, finger, bas aquí lo estoy haciendo bien intencionado. Finger, basket, Russia, pocket. Okay? En Russia es la R-U, ahí se me quedó en, minú en minúscula la U, pero es ra. Russia, pocket, basket, finger. Entonces, si ve lo que está en mayúscula, es el que recibe como mayor fuerza de voz. The rule number two says, for words that end in tion, sion, or sian, the stress syllable comes just before ending. For example, ak, shun, atang, shun, combine, shun, inten, shun, okay? And if we want to just, um, the one before the ending, we can do it like this. For example, excuse me, let me, let me do this. For example, combine, ne, it's not O, right? Maybe this is, it hasn't to be, um, it hasn't need uh, to be in, in capital letters. Le vamos a quitar el capital para que usted vea. Combine, ne, combine, Shun, at shun. Ese aten no necesariamente es todo, sino la que está justo antes del final, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a quitar este capital letters para que quede más clara. Minúscula. Ok, y en Russia eh, también la U. Ra, Russia. At shun, aten shun. Combine shun. De igual manera en esta, la in no va tan estresada como el ten, ¿sí? In ten, shun. Entonces así queda más claro, ¿verdad? Again, finger, 
basket, rasha, pocket, action, combine, combination, attention, intention. Nice. Okay. The rule number three for words that end in IC or ICAL, the stress syllable comes just before ending. In this case, I have write it uh, with um, bold. Hypnotic, notic, hypnotic, typic, typic, medi, medi, medical, public, public. Okay, so that's the way they use to stress the words in English. So learn a little bit more. Vamos a aprender un poquito más, verdad? Ahorita se siente así como un poco raro porque lo estamos haciendo bien básico con palabritas. But now you will listen uh, with numbers. For example, in this case, make the teen longer, louder, and higher in pitch. For example, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 15. Okay? In this case, you put more effort in the teen, right? Because if you don't pronounce well, this can be confused with 30. Si no pronunciamos bien el 13, se puede confundir con el 30. In fact, many people confuse these numbers. And it's a big difference between 13 and 30, ¿verdad? Entonces, si no pronunciamos bien el 13, que es 13, eh, puede confundirse con 30, ¿verdad? Que es 30. Y hay una gran diferencia de número entre 13 y 30. Okay. Eh, in the other way, eh, we put more stress on the first syllable eh, for the numbers P. Vea que ya de 30 a 90 ponemos mayor énfasis en pronunciar el número como tal, ¿verdad? 90, 90. Ya el T, el T va menos eh, esforzado, va menos acentuado, va con menos fuerza de voz. Escuchen, solo escuchen. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. No hablamos así, ¿verdad? Pero cuando lo hacemos debemos hacer la diferencia. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60, 17, 70, 18, 80, 19, 90. Can you notice the difference? ¿Pueden notar la diferencia? Okay. Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. So I invite you to go uh, to the platform, watch the video, and if you can take a picture of this, you can uh, continue practicing at home, right? Pueden tomar una imagen también de, esta, de este cuadrito que nos sirve como guía para que puedan continuar practicando en casa, ¿verdad? Okay, so let's continue. Continuamos. Okay. Here I have, uh, again, if we count, let me count again in order that you can listen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 6, 27, 28, 29, 30. And again, we go with the uh, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And the big numbers like 100, 1,000, 500, 10,000, 50,000. So those are the thousand, right? The big numbers. Okay. So, when we talk about years, uh, remember that years are normally divided in two parts, okay? For example, this year we say 1984, 1984. Por eso tenemos que tener una buena pronunciación, ¿verdad? Una buena fuerza de voz, eh, a good crest, okay? Um, in order to uh, say these numbers. For example, uh, 19, 
84. Vea, aquí sí se percibe, cuando decimos los años, se, se percibe bien ese cambio que tenemos que hacer. Por ejemplo, si yo dijera eh, 1990, ahí estoy diciendo 1990, ¿verdad? Entonces tengo que decir bien, 1990. ¿Verdad? Y se entiende, 1990, o 1990 en todo caso, ¿sí? Ok, the other numbers, 1066, vea cómo se dice este año, 1066, 1652, 1941, 2017, aquí usted puede decir 2017, excuse me, está bien sensible mi mouse. Puede decir 2017 o puede decir 2017, ¿ok? Uh, for the year 2000, you can say the year 2000, right? And for the years 2001 to 2010, we normally say 2000 and the number. For example, 2001, 2005, pero vea que le agregamos end. Cuando usamos el 2000, agregamos end. Para la última eh, cifra, ¿verdad? 2001, 2005, 2008. Okay? When a year ends in a number between 1 and 9, then that last part is pronounced as the name of the letter O plus number, right? Vea, um, en otra clase de números, yo quiero, le dije que podíamos decir el cero también O, oh, ¿verdad? ¿Se recuerdan? O. Oh. Entonces, en este caso podemos decir 1709 y ya se, siente, se, se sabe que es el 1709, ¿verdad? El 1709. 1901, ¿verdad? 1901. Y ahí se entiende que es el 1901 porque es el 0, ¿ok? When a year ends in zero, zero, right? Uh, then the year is set as the digits before, okay? Zero, zero, okay? Zero, zero. 16, zero, zero. Yeah. Oh, for eso dice 20, zero, zero, or 16, zero, zero, or, 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 or over, right? Aunque se oye un poco raro. Uh, or puede decir uh, de, um, 16, ¿verdad? O decir la década. Los 1600, ¿verdad? De 16. Or the 20s, ¿verdad? Los, los 20. Eh, 13, o puede decir también 1300. Eh, 1800. ¿Ok? Ok. Eh, o en el caso del 2020, usted puede decir 2020 o puede decir 2020, ¿right? Ok. After 2010, por ahí veo alguien. Ok, ustedes sí están viendo mi pantalla. Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Uh -huh. ok, es que hay alguien que me reporta que no puede verla. Tal vez es un problema de conexión. Juan, I'm sorry, but other people is watching. Maybe you can connect again, reconnect yourself. Ok, uh, after 2010, no. 2010, For the first years after, after 2010 and 2010, you may hear two different versions, 2012 or 2012, right? Uh, both are correct. Ambas son correctas, ¿verdad? They are both used and correct. Sorry. Now we continue to say the year divided into two parts as before. Uh, for example, I will need some volunteers for this exercise. Okay, uh, vamos a ver. Eh, voluntarios que me quieran decir el año eh, de nacimiento suyo o de nacimiento de alguien especial para usted y que me lo diga así, dividido en, en cifras. Todos van a ser 19, ¿verdad? Porque todos somos de los 1900, pero lo que va a cambiar son las últimas dos cifras. Ok, volunteers, voluntarios. Vamos a ver. Ok, excelente. I have two volunteers. Ladies first. Démosle espacio a las chicas primero. Okay. <laughs> Vamos oh. a ver. Ok. <laughs> a ver, adelante, mi estimada. Ok, I agree with you. Pero había alguien de las chicas que dijo, yo. Yo. Ok, <laughs> ahí está, Patricia Flores. Ok, Patricia, tell us. Um, my dear... Is 
Nineteen. Mm -hmm. Nine. Three. 1993. Okay, excellent, Patricia. Thank you. Okay, now I think that my friend, no sé si era Mícar o Ricardo. Okay. Richard. Okay, uh, Richard and then Karen. Thank you. Uh, my year is uh, 1918. Okay, 19? 18. 19, 18. No será 1980. Ah, okay, excuse me. Okay, 1980. Ajá, okay, no, but it's okay. Okay, it's okay. 1980, porque si no es, yo decía 19, 18. Sí, 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 okay. 1980, okay, excelente. Thank you. Karen, Karen, ¿el día? Yes, my year is 1995. Okay, another volunteer. Thank you, guys. Me, teacher. Okay, Amita, please. Okay, I was I was born in 1972. Okay, 1972. Excellent. Okay, who else? One more. One or two more. Me, teacher. Okay, please, my dear, go ahead. Adelante. My year 86. Okay, my, 1986. Yes. Excellent, thank you. And my last participant of this round. Okay, my last volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, please, Dennis, go ahead. 1987. Okay, your year or you were born in 1987. Excellent, thank you very much. Thank you very much to all of you that participated saying your year. And uh, now you see the correct way to pronounce the two uh, numbers, okay? So let's continue. Here I have um, an exercise for you that says, uh, it's a practice. Hello, what's your name? My name is Patricia. Uh, and then I said, what's your name to the other person? And the other person can say, hello, my name is Dennis or Lila or Amitkar, how old are you? Okay, you, then I, I'm saying, or I say, I am 42 years old. I was born in 1908, okay? How old are you? I am, uh, and the other person says, right? Okay, so that's what I want that you can practice right now. So I will take a picture and I will send it to you to the breakup rooms in order that you can continue practicing, okay? If you can take a picture, I will appreciate that. I'm sending you right now the picture taken. Okay, there it is. Okay, I'm going to open the breakout rooms and I invite you to Okay. So, please join. Unámonos. So, the idea is that two persons can talk about their ages and the year they were born. If you don't want to say your exact year, you can say another. Remember that this is for practical purposes. Hello, Alexia and Erwin. Do you have problem joining? Thank you for joining. Okay. Okay, Alexia. If you have problems, please let us know.
How old are you? I am dead. Get away. Twenty five. Dear Hall. Okay, excellent. You're practicing. Very good. My name is Guillermo Francisco. Nice to meet you, Francisco. Nice to meet you. Oh. Ya te, ya te abuelito. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what happened with Kenya? Okay. Kenya, are you ready? Yes. Uh, do you have the the picture? Yes. Uh, My name is Karen. What is your name? My name is Alejandra. Oh, really? oh, are you? Are you? Como no tengo las todas las preguntas no 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 no, no sé cómo terminar de contestar pero se decía así una de las dos la podía pre Hello. Solo. Do you solo, have questions? Tenemos preguntas. Eh, sí. En, usted sigue con, con. Tiene que decir el año en que nació. Yes, that's right. Since you are three, you can. Eh, que se oye, se corta. If, if you use the chat, the chat, you can use the chat. Pueden utilizar el chat si tienen problemas de audio, chicos. Okay. Sí, porque okay. no. Se corta. Okay. Okay. Pueden usar el chat para que todos puedan participar. Okay. <laughs> oh, say, I am old. <laughs> Ese es, es el, el para preguntarlo yo más o menos con la vieja. Ah. ¿Cómo se ¿Cómo? dice, teacher? Yo estoy vieja. <laughs> no, you're young. You're young and beautiful. No, you can say, just invent a number. You can say I'm 20, I'm 25, or, or I'm 23 years old. You just invent a number. <laughs> okay. You don't la buena es que no se le nota. Yes, you look so beautiful. You don't look so yes. <laughs> you say your age. <laughs> okay. I like that you're practicing and you're having fun. Okay. Uh, do you have questions? Tenemos preguntas? ¿O todo bien? Todo bien. Okay. See you in a minute, okay? Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, hello, Laura and Edwin. How are you to, uh, today? I would like to hear. Uh, can you hear me? Okay, Laura, we understand. Don't worry about it, okay? Uh, the activity will take just one more minute and then we are going to come back to the main group, okay? So we will come back. Hello. Nineteen minutes. Nineteen. Nineteen trip. Entonces sería nineteen minutes trip. Nineteen ninety. 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 Okay. Nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety. Excellent. Nineteen ninety. 
1993. Excellent. Okay. 93. Excellent. 93. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. See you in a minute, okay? So, are you... Hello, hello. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? ¿Me pueden escuchar? Sorry. I am probably uh, of the connection of the internet. Okay, don't worry. I understand. Sorry. Don't worry. Good evening, Laura. Hello. Okay, um, people is coming back. Thank you very much for uh, your participation in the breakout rooms. I'm going to share again. Yeah, it's here. Okay. Um, okay, Laura says that he was without connect she was without connection. Okay, excellent. Okay, my dear Edwin, don't worry about it. Okay, I have here at uh, the practice, so uh, I will need that some teams can voluntarily please intro, uh, present their conversations, okay? So who would like to start? ¿A quién le gustaría comenzar para eh, hacer la práctica? The same that you did in the breakout room, but uh, here in the plenary. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Let's see, let's see. Maybe um, Alejandra, Alejandra Galileo, were you able to participate? Yes. Would you like to uh, do the practice with one of, uh, or you three, I mean, two classmates? Maybe you three? Who were your classmates? Hello. Uh, hello. Okay, hello. Edwin is there. And I don't know if Ricardo. Ricardo. Okay. Please Sorry, I am. Okay. Uh, I start. Yes, you can start. Okay. Hey, hello. What is your name? My name is Alejandra. Y Alejandra pregunta. Alejandra. My name is Alejandra. Y usted también regresa a la pregunta. What is your name? Ah, what is your name? Uh -huh. My name is... Lo perdimos un ratito. Sí. Ok. Eh, vamos a ver, ¿había alguien más en el equipo? Sí, era Rita, creo. Okay, sí. Rita, preguntámosle a Rita. How old are you, Rita? Eh, hello. Hello, Rita. No estaba yo ahí, pero, pero sí puedo contestar. Okay, okay. Go ahead, Rita, please. <laughs> eh, what is your name, me dijo. Eh, sí, what's your name? What is your My name? name is Rita. Okay, and how old are you, Rita? I am... 43 years old. I was born in 1977. How old are you? Okay, I will answer by myself. I'm 42 years old. I was born in 1978. One year uh, later than you, okay? <laughs> Excellent. So that's the idea. I know that some of you are experiencing internet problems, so don't worry about it. No se preocupen, sé que algunos han tenido problemas para comunicarse. I will need another volunteer team, un equipo de voluntarios más. Thank you, Alejandra. Ok, thank you eh, también eh, a la compañera que me, que me contestó. A, ¿A quién era, perdón? Era Lila, creo. Creo que fue Lila quien me contestó. No estoy segura, pero gracias a quien hizo la conversación conmigo. Ok, who else? ¿Quién más? Mi teacher. Ok, please, Amilcar. Go ahead. Ok. Eh, ¿Con quién, teacher? Eh, ¿Quién eran sus compañeros? Tienen eh, que seleccionar a uno. Elvin. Ok, Elvin. Ok, you decide. Hi. Hello. What is your name? My name is Elvin. What's your name? My name is Amilcar. How, how old are you? 
I am 48 years old. I was born in 1972. How old are you? I am 30, 35 years old. I was born in 1985. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Congratulations, team. You did a great presentation. <laughs> okay, that's the idea um, of practicing, saying I was born in, right? Cuando nos preguntan cuál es su año de nacimiento, eh, I was born in, right? Y cuando nos preguntan la edad, recuerda que la pregunta clave es how old are you? Y vamos a responder siempre I am. No vamos a decir I have, no. Aunque el equivalente en traducción en español es yo tengo, pero en inglés jamás decimos I have. Se dice I am. I am and the number of years you have. Y les tenemos que decir years old. O simplemente, por ejemplo, en mi caso yo solo les digo I am 42. O les puedo decir I am 42 years old, pero no puedo decir solamente I am 42 years. Eso no es correcto. O utilizo toda la frase years old o solo digo el número, 42. ¿Sí? Eso es una regla de oro en inglés. Por eso se la digo en español, para que quede así, clear, clear, like... Okay? Excellent, excellent, thank you. Ok, I think that because of the time, I'm going to stop this here. And then let me share the presentation that I have for you tonight about the next topic, um, which is about numbers, okay? Again, since in the class, the idea was to uh, remember and, or to practice numbers okay. from 11 to 103. We already studied this, but I'm going to repeat some again in order that uh, you can remember. So I'm going to start muting you that in order that you can hear me. And whenever you need to mute yourself, you can do it, okay? So remember that from, from one to 10, it's very easy. Most of you know how to say them. Remember that zero is like a z -z -z vibrant. Then one, two, three. Don't say three. For if you say three, you say árbol, right? So it's three, three, like a zeta de zapato de español. Three, no three. Three. Porque si me dice three, me está diciendo árbol. Entonces es three. Tampoco me dice free porque free con F de foca y de feo es eh, libre, ¿verdad? Free. I am free. Yo soy libre. No. Three. Acuérdese de cómo los españoles dicen zapato y Z. Three. ¿Ok? Four, five, six. Esa, esa X del six. Esa X del six. Hágamela bien pronunciadita. Six. Six. Seven. Eight. Esa T del eight. Es explosiva al final. Eight. Eight. Nine. No. Esa N no se la coma. A veces me dicen nine. No, nine. Mm, como que voy a decir no. Nine. Mm, nine. ¿Ok? Nine. Adelante. Sorry. Ok, go ahead. Adelante. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? ¿Tres? ¿Tres? Three. 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 Como con Z de zapato. Eh, suponga usted que es española y Three. dice zapato. Zapato, una Z. Sería free. Free, ajá, free. 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 Porque si dice free, Porque con free. C, es árbol. Free. Free. Uh -huh. free. Y si dice free, free con F, es libre. Free. Es ajá. free con Z. Usted recuerda el chiste, ¿verdad? Z de zapato en español de España, hombre. Ok, gracias. Thank you. That's a joke. Es una broma, pero así me lo aprendí yo, ¿ah? para que no se me olvidara cómo era. Ok, luego 11, 11, 12, 12 13. Aquí comienza 13. lo que estuvimos diciendo, ¿verdad? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20. Recuerde que este 20 es 20 en el British English, pero en el American English 17, 20. 18, 19. Entonces, 21. Este, a ver, vamos a ponernos mute todos para que me puedan escuchar 20, un ratito. 
Ok, decía que el 20 puede ser 20 eh, o 20. Both are correct, ok. And then you start combining 21 or 21, 22 or 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 8, 29, 9, 40. 40. Acuérdese que acá en la fuerza de voz va en el inicio, ¿verdad? A, en, a diferencia de eh, los teams, aquí ya vamos con la fuerza de voz al inicio. 30. 30. Es una Z como en 3, pero aquí es 30. 40. 50. 60. 70. 80. 90. 100. 100. 100 and 1. Agregamos el and para las unidades. 101, 102. Y voy a contar, ¿verdad? Hasta el, hasta el 113. 103, 100, y voy combinando, ¿verdad? 11, 112, 113, and so on. And you can continue until 199, and then you say 200. And you start again. 201, 202, 203, 204, and so on, until you get to 299, and then you say 300, and then you continue in the same way until 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, right? 1,000. And then the combinations continue, 1,000 and 1. Aquí ya no estamos hablando de cientos, sino de miles, ¿verdad? 1,000. Thou, thou, du, du, como de dedo, du, thousand. Es una V de dedo, thousand, and one, one thousand and one, one thousand and two, ten thousand, one hundred thousand, ¿verdad? Vean, cien mil es one hundred, de cien, y luego mil, ¿verdad? Thousand, one million, ten million, y la cifra grande, ¿verdad? Las leemos de tres en tres. ¿Se acuerdan de unidades? Sure, de I have and... a question. Yes, please, go ahead. Eh, el 10 million se leería así o al final el million se le podría poner, poner la S para que dijera 10 millions. No, 10 no millions. No es necesario. No, no es necesario. El, el que identifica cuánto es y que es plural es el número inicial. Es de 10. Ah, ok. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Vea, se recuerda, voy a decir esto en español para que quede como más clarito. ¿Se acuerdan de cuando empezábamos a contar unidades, cena, centena, de mil, de millar y por ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces eso es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Eh, contamos de tres en tres, ¿verdad? Para ir diciendo, en este caso es 123 million. Está en la casilla de los millones, ¿verdad? 123 million. Y luego... 456,000, ¿verdad? Está en la casilla de los miles. Y luego, 789. Ahí ya nos quedamos hasta ahí porque es eso, siento, ¿verdad? 789, llegamos hasta las unidades, 9. Ok, let's continue. Aquí está lo que les decía hace un ratito, ¿verdad? In order to properly say or age, we have to use like this structure. Remember that is the verb to be plus, um, like this. Um, I am 23 years old. I am. I say I am 23 years old. You are 16 years old. He is 32 years old. Mary is 45 years old, okay? And remember that you can write the age as numbers or as words. For example, I am 12 years old with the number here, or you can say the number but written, right? It not, not written in numbers, but in letters. I am 12, 12 years old, okay? Sure. Yeah? Uh, can I do an answer? A question. A question, Yes, me. please, go ahead. 
uh, I have heard that in the United States, they say, uh, for example, in the 32, they say 32. Mm. Uh, I don't know, is, is really or is it is uh, yeah, I will tell you something. It's real. Okay. It's real because remember that the U.S. is a big, big country and they have different, um, we can say, regionalization of the language. So they oh. pronounce different according to the regions. For example, uh, I will say yes. something about the region of Central America. Honduran people and Salvadorian people, we, we talk or we speak with the J. Los hondureños y los salvadoreños nos caracterizamos por hablar con las con la J. ¿Verdad que es usted? Es <ríe> cierto. Nos da risa, sí. pero, pero es cierto. Cuando yo me he escuchado hablar, digo, lo digo por mí, eh, yo me he escuchado hablar a veces en reuniones, ahora que estamos con esto del Zoom y grabándonos y eso, y de repente me doy cuenta que es cierto, yo hablo con la J a veces de manera inconsciente. Eso no es malo, o sea, se sí. llama regional, lo estoy explicando en español para que quede más claro, se llama regionalización del lenguaje. Sí. Y tiene que ver con aquellos fonemas que son más desarrollados, eh, ya sea por, las, por la comunidad donde viven las personas, ¿verdad?, eh, por sus patrones culturales y demás. Entonces, sí es cierto, ¿verdad? Eh, sí. Que puedan decir 30, ¿verdad? Eh, porque Estados Unidos es un país súper grande y acuérdense que también es multicultural. They have people from Asia, they have people from Africa, they have people from different places around the world. Mm. So you will listen different pronunciations. But the idea is that you can have like a standardize right like a standardize in order that all people can understand you see ¿sí? eh, no vamos a hablar de la pronunciación correcta sino de la pronunciación estándar eh, yes. que es entendible verdad eh, yo yes. puedo decir 30 o puedo decir 30 eh, if you if you speak with a british they won't say 30 they will say 30 i'm 30 Perfect. years old and it's okay but if you speak with an American, they will say, American or Canadian, they will say Tutti, right? Tutti. Or, or they can say Tutti, even Tutti. Tutti. Uh -huh. But you remember that the name, the, the number is 30, right? Lo, lo correcto es uh, 30. Yeah, with different variations. Con las okay, diferentes okay. variaciones. Okay. Okay, Thank excellent. You. But uh, that's good discussing that topic. Pero bueno discutir eso, ¿verdad? Okay, okay let, let's continue. Then we have, excuse me. Let's continue the class. Uh, then we have years old is optional. So you can say, I am 43 years old, as I was saying, or I am 23. Puede decir de dos formas, ¿verdad? I am 23 years old, or simplemente es el number, 23. But years plus old, so let me mute you. Vamos a ponerles mute, chicos, para que me puedan escuchar en esta. Ya es la última parte de la clase. But years plus old are always together. Remember always, always this. Siempre recuerde esto, que years plus old van siempre juntos. So you can say, I am 21. Or you can say, I am 21 years old, but please don't say, I am 21 years. Mm -mm. No. You have to say full or only 21. Okay, what happened with babies? With babies, you can use months instead of years, right? The baby is four months old, oh. right? In this case, months, they have plural. In this case, months, los meses sí tienen plural. Vean, aquí está la letra S, months old. Okay, she's nine months old. Vean, aquí lo, lo puse en no. numbers. Numbers four months old or nine in letters. It's nine months old. Months, months old. La S, ¿verdad? Months old. Months old. Excellent. Okay. Example. He is forty years old. The grandfather the is seventy-one is years, one old. years old. The dog is three years. The dog is three years old. The baby is five months old. Okay, be careful. 
in English to say the age, we use always the verb to be and not another verb. So you say, I am 12 years old in numbers or in letters. I am 12 years old, but old. But never say I have. Mm -mm. No, you don't have to say I have 18 years old or I have 18 or I have 18 years. No, no, no. Have, it doesn't exist in English for saying the age. You have to say I am. I am 12 years old, 12 years old, or I am uh, 42 years old, or the baby is four months old. Yes, in el caso de una tercera persona, y am in el caso de myself, de mi, verdad? Okay, so let's continue. Okay, I have the last exercise of the night, so I would like that you can collaborate here by saying, excuse me. Um, how old is Sally? Who can tell me? How old is Sally? ¿Quién me puede decir? How old is Sally? Sally is here. Look. I will need some volunteers for this part of the class. So you can unmute if you can participate, okay? So, how old is sure. Sally? Yes, please. Go ahead, Amiga. Uh, she is 30 years old. Okay, she's 30 years old. Excellent. Thank you, Amilka. Another volunteer. How old is Sam? Me? Yes, please. Uh, he is uh, 17 years old. Excellent. Thank you. How old is Robert? Me? Yes, please. He is five years old. Excellent. Five. Thank you. Now about let let's talk about our pet, Lord. The name of the name of our pet is Lord. So how old is Lord? Me teacher. Yes, please. It is three years old. Okay, excellent. Three years old. It is excellent because we are talking about the pet. Thank you. Okay. How old are Nelly and Fred? Vea, como estamos hablando de ellos, yo digo are. How old are Nelly and Fred? Look, they are twins. Son gemelos, ¿verdad? They are. Okay, who would like to say? Teacher? Yes, please, go ahead. They are 12 years old. Excellent, thank you. Okay, now let's see uh, Grace. Uh, there's a mistake in the name, so don't pay attention. So how old is Grace? <laughs> She's a baby. She's a baby, Grace. Okay. Me. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, is she? Oh, he. She, she, es Grace, es niña, gracias, Grace, niña, she. She is three months. Month old, ¿verdad? Old, yes. sorry, old. Yes, ahí con los meses sí tenemos que a ley utilizar el old, ¿verdad? She's three months old. Excellent, thank you. Okay, let's see, how old is Lucky? Okay, Lucky is a turtle, it's a, it's a pet. Like, like, Lord. It is four years old. Excellent, thank you. What about John? How old is John? He is uh, eight, eight, 18, four mm -hmm. years old. Excellent. Okay, John, John is male, so he, right? He is 84 years old, excellent, thank you. And what about Matthew? How old is Matthew? Two. He is mm -hmm. two years old. Excellent, Matthew, or he is two years old. Excellent, thank you, thank you very much. You did a great job by um, saying the ages of these people. So just let, and, and pets, and pets. So let me correct the name of the baby. And now let me go to the last 
slide that I have for you before finishing the class, okay? So this is an exercise that we already did, right? Robert says, how old, Robert, how old are you? Uh, Robert can say, I am 20 years old. And how old are, are your parents? Maybe they are 40 and 45 years old. Podemos contestar así, ¿verdad? Cuando me preguntan de dos, 40 and 45 years old, ¿verdad? Uh, do you have brothers or sisters? Yes, I have. Aquí sí, ¿verdad? Pues estamos hablando de tener hermanos o hermanas. And how old is your brother and sister? Aquí yo puedo decir, he is 26 and she is uh, 30 years old, ¿verdad? How old are your children? And then I can say, my girls are 15 years old and three years old respectively, okay? Or they are 15 and five years old, right? Okay, and uh, here I have uh, the last slide about the large numbers, 100 as I was counting, right? Again, 200, 300, 400, uh, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and then the big numbers, 1,000, 2,000, 10,000, 100, and excuse me here, and uh, 100,000, 1 million, 10 million, and then the big numbers that we already read in the previous uh, slide, 123 million, 456,000, and 789, okay? So do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí? About the numbers and ages? No, teacher. Okay, excellent. I'm very glad to see you today and I hope to see you tomorrow. Remember that tomorrow we are going to finish the section number three and we're going to talk about the midterm exam. So next week we are going to start the section four and the last week uh, we are going to conclude with the section number five. If you need my support, uh, my extra support with your uh, quizzes or uh, the midterm exam during the weekend, I'm going to be available. Okay. Take care. See you okay. tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher. Bye.